what's up and welcome back to Supreme RC and Escape Tech. I am gonna open something up today. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Just don't bash, blast, baby. I wanna say a shout out to all my local hobby shops. I'm glad that we still got them local here. I know some people in other states do not have them. Um, if it's your first time to this channel, thank you for stopping by, truly. I wish if you like this kind of content, it's free. Just go down below, right down there, click that subscribe button. That lets me know you like it and I can produce more. Um, we are here today. I got another new box opening. I'm going to try to run through this one real quick. I'll do the same thing I did before. Um, I'll just go ahead and put the information down below, all the technical information. Um, that way we can just kind of breeze on by and get out before the sun stops. And we'll go ahead and uh, get a couple jumps in. We'll take it to the track. We'll race it around some. But without further ado, I want to thank Hobby Wing for my mat to work on here. But that's not why we're here today. Today, we are here for... Arma Typhoon 6X V5 Balls Out 70 mile an hour Beast Buggy. This thing here, you can stretch it, you can high jump it. It right now holds the world's long jump record. My buddy Kevin Talbot. They got a place out there, they got videos of it. It definitely um, is a very universal truck, car, buggy. This one is 6S. This is a 6S, it's got tons of new parts on it. I'm not gonna get into it. I'll do some up close shots. You'll be able to see everything that is new. I'll zoom around the box, I'll get up close with the car show you the car real close and then we're going to charge up some batteries got some uh, Venom 6S 5000 milliamp hex that we're gonna put in here and um, and then we'll take it out and rip it. Um, Arma's been around forever. This has got the spectrum system as you know. DSMR, the Firma ESE. Um, you can kind of see here when I get up close and personal it's got the 315 just like all the other Armas have. This one has, it says it's the SCT, so it must be the SCT3, uh, SLT3, sorry, uh, brand new. It's the same one I have. It's better than the other version that people were having problems with. It's got the D-Pinion. I mean, a lot of these trucks are very, very similar, so I'm not going to, you know, uh, talk too much on them it, because there's a, a lot of similarities between the armor trucks. It does have a couple EXB parts, extreme bash parts, the D-hoons that are bad to the bone on the infraction I got back here. 
Uh, so let's go ahead uh, and get this bad boy open. Is there a tape? Yeah. I'm gonna get that new razor blade out. Get this puppy cut up. Open her. Ugh. I haven't opened this yet, guys, so it's all new to me. Yeah, SLT, it's got the, um, I think it's got the gyro as well. Aluminum anodized chassis, so metal chassis, uh, metal front and rear shock towers, strong, sorry about the lawnmower right now, guys. Uh, front and rear braces, durable wheel hubs, uh, oil filled adjustable coilover shocks. It looks like it's got an adjustable motor mount as well. So let me tell you, this version, it's a 1 8 scale, and it's got a new transmitter, a new receiver, dual receiver with the protocol, um, the 652 metal gear waterproof digital servo, waterproof 150 milliamp ESC, and your 2050 KV brushless Motad. Um, it's all metal gears, it's ready to run. You just need four double A's, slap in the transmitter, and you're good to go. You can find these Horizon Hobby. I got these at a local hobby shop. Um, they didn't sponsor it. It's uh, Nankin, I've been going there forever. Uh, so let's go ahead and figure out how this thing comes out of the box. Uh, pull you out. This thing is so weak, guys. Wait till you see the up close shots of this. So it looks like it comes with a heavy stack of goodies. This goes in here. That must be the transmitter. That last one tricked me though when we did the when we did the pirates I didn't know where that transmitter was. I was freaking out. I'm like did I uh, have too many cigarettes that day. So we'll get this out of our way. Beats. Sorry guys. Um, got some parts. We'll go over those really, really quick. I'm going to throw this over here. I'm going to set up my hobby wing for my close-ups. So hopefully everybody's safe. Everybody's doing good out there. Um, if you're working, good. If you're not working, I hope you're getting some kind of assistance from the state to get you by during these hard times. It looks like it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse, guys. So really, um, just have fun. You don't know if we're here today and gone tomorrow. Um, I love you guys for showing up today, though. Let me tell you that. Uh, we got the BLX Typhoon with the DB uh, tires and rims. This is six cell, not six cell nickel metal head drive. This is six S lipo, um, which six S one piece. So there is a whole bunch of batteries in here. These things are huge. Slick right in, and we're good to go. Um, looks like we got. Looks like the transmitters in here as usual. It's the same one, the SLT. Three, um, I believe. No, that's not the e-brake. Yeah, this is the same one that I use on the Creighton. The Infraction V2 has a different one with e-brake and some other buttons on it. But anyhow, you get that basic SLT3. Guys, listen. Uh, if you do drive these Horizon cars, um, you can go out and get a DX5C. Uh, like this for 109 bucks, you probably can find a coupon get it less and that'll run all of your Armor trucks anything that you put you know the spectrum receiver in that's what I recommend I do have a Dumbo RC Transmitter that I'm going to use for my off-brand trucks and I'm going to use the DXC 5c uh, for all my armor trucks that and that's the way I'm gonna use it that way I don't have a bunch of controllers laying around um, I've got six seven trucks now and that means six seven controllers so and I'm dealing doing away with that but hey 
Guys, here we go. We got the Arma Typhoon V5, all the upgrades. We're going to, what I'll do is I'll dive up close, show you guys some uh, close-ups. We'll get a battery charged and we'll get out and see if it can do what it says it can do. On, on this box, guys, It says it's 70 miles an hour straight out the pack. Let's see. Right, we're going to check it out, see what you think, and then we'll take it out and we'll bash it.